Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Joshino, and today we're going to be talking about Paladin's future, which has turned from quite a dystopian vision to something of more of a utopia, as most of the stuff they are saying sounds honestly better than the essence system we had before Cards Unbound, and if you didn't already know and you haven't watched my last video, Cards Unbound is going out of the window. Only moments ago, a live stream from the devs just finished, and they talked about their vision in a bit more detail, which I'm going to be talking about today, and be sure to let me know all of your thoughts as we go along on what I'm going to talk about and what you'd like to see from Paladins going forward. And honestly, a lot of the stuff here sounds awesome. And this dev talk was mostly between Chris, who is the new executive producer of Paladins, and he also said that the whole team as a whole wanted to remove Cards and Bound and steered it away from the idea that Chris was maybe the saviour of the game, even though the memes are funny, which is interesting. So that is worth taking into consideration. One big thing as well that I'll talk about because it's created a lot of problems recently is that the 64-bit changes are rolled back already on the live version of Paladins. So if you have a 64-bit computer or build, you can now put your settings to lower so that that's gone completely. You also can go into the settings in the launch and change it from 64-bit to 32-bit if you have weird issues and you can maybe test them out and see which one runs better. Most likely if you've got a 64-bit system, the 64-bit version generally runs better anyway. The other thing is that the cards and bound removal isn't immediate. It's going to be tested on the public test server next week. And again, be sure to check that out as it's a time to give some really strong feedback. And they want to get it released live within two weeks, which will be probably alongside the next patch, but might not be. So the main outline of this, and it, more advanced from what I talked about and what's in the document, is they say that all card levels will be unlocked for all the cards, which I was slightly worried about because I was kind of worried they might do some sort of Cards and Bound light where you'd have to power up and grind individual cards, even if you always had a 15 point loadout, but that sounds like it's gone and you'll have all levels if you have the card and it also sounds like you'll have all normal cards if you have a champion unlocked which i hope they do go through with what chris has said he wants to implement into paladins is a very straightforward grind mainly leveling up your champion with tier talents or legendary cards he didn't exactly say what the rewards would be apart from the legendary cards which will now be called talents which makes more sense because they are kind of talents as they completely rejig the champion and how you maybe approach the match like, for example, Maldama's Wakona's Curse, you're going to be aggressive versus something else. And again, the big thing is they're all level 1, no matter what. So the idea is that even if you haven't got something unlocked, you'll have something that will be horizontally balanced. Not, I mean, in theory, if they're all balanced the same, uh, if you have a build set around a certain talent, you should be able to play as well as somebody with another certain talent. And it's more about customization and high level play when you get into ranked and you're making sure that you have sort of like counter pick, pick, with the talents and your builds, which I think is okay. I don't know whether about the levels at the moment, so they're talking about 5, 10, and 15 to unlock the, the next ones up. And once they add a fifth, perhaps, legendary card, they were saying level 40, but I think maybe Chris misspoke there because he is newer to Paladins. 40 is very high, and also we don't know in context to how hard the champion grind will be this sort of grind maybe it'll be easier so maybe in his mind 40 isn't that high and again it hasn't talked about what else you will be unlocking maybe they'll higher up the mastery rewards and things like that maybe add stuff to that which i hope they do i hope they maybe cycle some of the recolorings in there but another big thing that he mentioned is that all existing players will get all talents so you'll be completely ground out pretty much until the next champion is released. Khan, by the way. Anyway, let's get on to monetization. So what he's saying is basically they're steering away from the sort of pay to will elements. There's still going to be a booster to your grind so you'll be able to grind your champion faster and get those talents faster, which is fine as long as those talents are all the same level. And theoretically, they are balanced on a horizontal plane. There's nothing inherently better, like the old Unbound system where they had power levels. Even though one legendary card might be more situational than another one and better in certain situations, one legendary card was just generally better because it had an upwards grind where each level was better, which isn't the case anymore. What they're going to go into is more customization, which a lot of free-to-play games do, and in my opinion, the best do. What they're saying is some of the things they want to add are loading screens, global emotes, and basically more fun things to collect, but that's fine and that would be great. I mean, 
more monetization and customization is awesome. Also, a massive thing is they're going to start having adventures like they do in Smite. Now, I'm not 100% familiar with Smite, but I do understand it's sort of like a sort of battle, like in Fortnite, they've got the battle pass where you unlock stuff as you go along. It's a bit like the VIP tiering system, but with a theme around it. So the first one is going to be the Asiatic quest, which apparently is going to come with Khan, which I didn't realize perhaps he is Asiatic themed. I didn't think he was. Also, the map that has already been released in China will come with that. And I'm guessing there's going to be a load of skins that are very Asiatic themed coming with this. And basically, you'll unlock the adventure and you have quests and things to unlock content. And the pass to get into this adventure will be monetized, which I think is good. I like this sort of system. I was actually thinking about the VIP system we have currently, and I reached out to Hyrus Chris, but it hasn't come back to me yet, about whether they're going to rework that, because they have talked about the confusing currencies. Again, I'm not sure whether they're getting rid of gold. I don't know how they're sort of dealing with the currency, whether they're just going to get it all off and just go into some sort of XP grind, apart from the crystals, the premium one. But I think maybe simplifying the VIP system could be better as well, more like a battle pass where you have exact tiers of how far you've ground with certain content that isn't necessarily themed, but you've got some good skins towards the end, some basic emotes towards the start, uh, sprays and things as you go along. I think that could be pretty awesome, and I've bought the hell out of the recent Fortnite Battle Pass, and something similar coming here could be awesome too. But that is also quite similar to the adventure they're bringing anyway, so we might be able to look forward to that too. They said three champions are currently in the works, and Khan is likely to come with the release of this Asiatic quest, which it sounded like they were sort of pushing that they're working on it in the next two weeks whether that means it's going to actually be re-released -re in the next patch i'm not entirely sure and i don't know whether there'll be a patch before and the next big release patch where they just take out all of the system also something that i i haven't really talked about the update currently in ob66 as i was actually relatively unhappy with what came out and it seemed like they were going towards more to pay to win in some of the chess and stuff which obviously now isn't the case but there was some positive stuff that has has made it in that hasn't really been talked about much but paladins actually has had a graphical update and at very high you'll get the new 2k textures and it does look a lot more crisp than before and looks better i think that you could actually use some of the screenshots in game as a thumbnail much more easily because i usually use sort of art from paladins the high risk stuff they release or the 10 cent stuff but actually now you could probably because it's so high resolution you could use most of the in-game stuff to get a decent thumbnail, which is, is always a good indicator that a game looks good, I'd say. They're also talking about the Willow voice pack, and they're maybe talking about rolling it back or making it optional, so it, it might make a comeback to all the people that were worried about it. Another thing they talked about in the future is the rank Season 2, which is coming very soon. Sounds like the next update. I don't know whether it's going to come out with this Asiatic update or if this will come out with the sort of cards and bound removal. We'll just have to see, but... They're talking about, again, they want to add more unlocks and un just unlocks just for playing ranked. Another thing is the two bans for the, the team whilst you're drafting, which I think is awesome and works very well, for example, in Dota. But I do hope it's like Dota where you have the first bans before you pick anything and then have maybe a couple of picks and then another ban. So you don't get a situation where people ban four healers or something silly and there's none left. Because, I, I, I mean, just generally the more bans, the more control you have over it the harder it is for a meta to exist that where one champion is amazing because you just get rid of them and it just adds another level of complexity and strategy and they talked about season two being a soft reset from the last season rather than a hard reset so you'll carry over roughly where you were or at least likely what will happen is you're dropped into the ranking again but you're dropped with people that were relatively the similar rank that you were so then it'll double check that you're actually at that level of play something i'd hope to see in ranked perhaps is either maybe an expediated xp for the champion levels to perhaps push people to play the ranked version to unlock those talents or maybe even just having the cards unlocked in ranked just some way to make ranked the more appealing game mode between the casual and the ranked it'd be nice to have maybe 50 50 between the two modes that's never going to happen but maybe even just 30 70 would be good just because i think there's a lot of potential in the ranked and i'd like to play ranked as my main mode as well without having to wait finally battlegrounds is its own thing they're pretty much getting rid of the sort of champions in paladins and that it's not exactly a paladins game with the paladins that we have now but that all people start as a blank slate and you go around picking up a lot of the abilities that are in paladins and the weapons in paladins 
and build your own character, so your own champion whilst you're in a match, which is actually sounds like an interesting thing in of itself, and you actually now drop in a giant Zeppelin a bit more like the other Battle Royale games. Anyway, the big takeaway for me here is that both high -res have now said basically that they are wanting to move away from the pay-to-win tag, and the sort of vision of that and move all towards the customization and monetization there with free to play stuff and i think that's awesome that we've had this movement from something that was negative to something that was so positive and i hope that it really goes through and we see the vision that we have been promised obviously the proof will be in the pudding folks and we'll see next week how it is working out as it goes live but i think any version of these things I've been talked about will be a lot better than what the system was before. Again, let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below, and I think I'm gonna do a spicy speculation about Khan because we've heard a little bit more about him, and I just thought, I think it'd be interesting to do that again, and hopefully I can do some more of my regular content because I'm always, honestly a lot more optimistic about the game before it was kind of a, a down note. But basically I'm just more happy to do some of my regular stuff now. If you found this video insightful or you enjoyed it or anything like that, be sure to hit that like button, it really helps. And if you really enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And because YouTube sucks, be sure to hit that bell as well so you actually know when I upload something. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Joshino.